Oliver Welcome to the show, Spencer. Spencer, now, you have said, uh, I don't want a long career, and uh, I'll be talking to lampposts if I'm boxing when I'm 30. Mm -hmm. From that point of view, what do you think about Mr Eubank's latest press circus and comeback, then? Well, I don't, I don't think he's right, you know. He's had his day now, and um, his best days are behind him, and I think he should just retire. Yeah, why is he still doing it? It's just, it's just basically money now, isn't it? Money, yeah. yeah. That's what it's all about. I know. You can still pull him in, though. Still mm -hmm. pull him in. Yeah, he puts bums on seats. Now, Spencer, I first heard about you about a year ago, when you had uh, the big fight against Patrick Mullins for uh -huh. uh, the Southern Area title. And um, it was, uh, I was reading about it, and the referee said in that fight uh, that it was the greatest fight he'd seen in the 14 years of refereeing. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing, I knew it was a really hard fight. He put him down the 10th, 10th round, but a really hard fight. Next thing I know, a few months later, you're fighting for the European title. And I thought, hang on a minute, this, this guy's got no chance here. It's too young, it's only like your 11th fight. Did you, did you think you had a chance, or were you treating it as a learning fight? No, I knew, I knew straight away, as soon as Jess showed me the tape of the guy and said, you know, got you the European title, I knew straight away that um, I was in a different league to the guy. But obviously everyone thought it was too much too soon. All the boxing writers, yeah. everybody just thought I was jumping in too deep too soon. But uh, I knew different from the videos, obviously, that I watched from the guy. What was it then about, about him that made you think, right, I can take him? You know, what did you have that you knew, what, that you knew you'd be able to get him with? I just, I just knew I had all-round better boxing ability, yeah. strength, power, everything. I was just technically much better than the guy. Mm. You did. You changed a little bit going into that fight. I mean, before that fight, you were known that you were kind of more like a whirlwind boxer. You yeah. Know? Like just going in there attacking, punching from all angles. You know, I mean, very McGuigan-esque mm -hmm. in your attacking. But with that fight, you were much more economical, and you were just kind of waiting. You were a bit more kind of a bit more careful and a bit more smarter as a boxer. I mean. What's the most comfortable style to you? Is it the whirlwind style or is it the actual sitting back? Are you I'm, happy with both? Uh, yeah, I'm happy with both. You know, I obviously adjust my style to opponents, but um, with, with Cresta, who I boxed for the European title, I knew that he was a bit of a banger and I didn't want to take no chances. I wanted to go out there the first couple of rounds and have a look at him, and uh, obviously it worked. Yeah. Now you've got another defence coming up in May against uh, Sergei Devakov. What, what can we expect from him? It's a tough fight. He's a mandatory yeah. challenger, number one challenger. Uh, you know, I think he's had 30 fights, 127. He's a tough guy, but um, he likes to come forward, so that suits me. Yeah. Is there any way, and I mean, this is different, I suppose, because this is a mandatory challenger. I mean, a lot of people are still saying now that you've done it a little bit too early. You're mm -hmm. maybe kind of five fights ahead of where you should be. When you see, like, what happened to Ryan Rhodes, for example, in his last fight, do you ever think, oh, hang on, I am maybe doing this a bit too quickly. I should maybe stop here. Fight a couple of guys who are different styles, get more used to it before moving on. No, definitely, you know, they were saying the same about Naz when he, when he won the European yeah. title and stuff, and I'm in a different league to Ryan Rogues, you know. Yeah. I believe that, you know, when the opportunity comes, I'll win a world title without a doubt. Mm. Well, what, what is the, I mean, there's, there's basically three options for you now. You, mm -hmm. you can go for the world title at Superband and wait. You can go for uh, Michael Brody, the British yeah. champion. I know mm -hmm. a lot of people want to see that fight. And yeah, everything. that's right. Or you go up to featherweight. And, and take on Naz. Which which of the three appeals to you most? But what will you be it's doing actually? The world title at Super Bantamweight. Obviously, we'll, we want to win a world title at Super Bantamweight, and um, then we'll move up and start negotiating with Naz. Obviously, yeah. whose title? At, whose title at Super Bantamweight would you um, go for then first? I'm not sure at the moment. I more favour the WBC. Yeah. A guy um, Wayne McCulloch's yeah. boxing for the WBC title soon. Mm -hmm. If he wins a fight, then it will definitely be against. Wayne over in this country, later part of the year. Yep. Has Junior Jones still got one of the... No, he got, he got knocked out oh, he? by he Kennedy knocked. McKinney. Right. Um, but I don't think he's sort of like out of the picture, you know. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's more like the WBC title, really. Do you think there's any chance then of, of getting that fight with Brody? The fight, yeah, the fight could come off. Yeah. Obviously, if, if I win a world title, Michael will be, yeah. he'll be the first defence. But until then, I think, obviously, I've got bigger fish to fry. It's like fighting Michael now would be a backward step for me. Yeah. Although the public would love to see it, it's just like a backward step. It's, a, it's an interesting one because it is very rare that you get two good undefeated British fighters mm -hmm. meeting. And I think um, uh, Brody's he's, he's fought more than you, isn't he? He's 20, 21 yeah, he's fights 21, here. 21, but 21 the overall right. quality isn't as good as some of the people you've been in. No, but I mean, he hasn't mixed in the yeah. same world class. You know, I've been boxing world class fighters now since I won the European title. Yeah. Whereas Michael's been on the British level. You know, he's a good fighter, there's no doubt about it. And, um, Hopefully the fight will come off, yeah. but I think it would be when there's a world title at stake. Mm -hmm. um, if, when, you do go up to featherweight, um, you will bump into Prince Nazim Hamid. Uh -huh. 
Was there anything, a lot of people have thought that Las Vegas Kevin Kelly kind of unearthed serious doubts about him. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't happen to think so myself, but did you see anything in that fight that made you think, oh, actually, you know, I, I, I could take him? No, I didn't see anything mm. any different. You know, perhaps the dedication's not there now with Naz. He's earned a lot of money and, you know, he's, he's become a superstar and perhaps he's not, mm. you know, concentrating on what he's got to do properly. Because you used to, you have sparred with Naz when you were Yeah, when, we, both when we were schoolboys, yeah, yeah. We, we used to box for England together and we used to spar together and he's a lovely guy, but, um, you know, I, I don't see there being a problem if I go up to featherweight, especially I'll have that much more experience behind me and uh, it'd be a great fight. Yeah. Who, um, what was it like when you used to spar? Who, who yeah, came out on top? It was sort of like yeah. there or thereabouts. Naz was lighter than me then, actually. Uh -huh. So, you know, I didn't really have too much problem with it. Yeah. It, was great, it was great sparring. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be an interesting fight because both of you are very attacking, but the, the one difference is you have is in the defence, that uh -huh. you at least keep your hands up. Yeah, I'm, I'm very <laughs> tight, whereas Naz right. It'd, it'd be an interesting fight, actually. Yeah, that. definitely, definitely. Yeah. You know, he wouldn't be getting no leaks in my, in my defence, whereas, <laughs> you know, from my perspective, I was, um, you know, I think I'd nailed him. Yeah. Definitely. Now, uh, I know...